My brother, you are very welcome to the Glory Global Church. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Good morning, and we in today, people of God. My name is Ditebo Stephen Ramaisa. I'm 26 years old. I come from Blue Gambush. Thank you so much. Can you kindly share with us your wonderful testimony? I'm standing here to give glory to Master Jesus. In 2019, when I was doing my final year, I was graced to see men of God for one-on-one. -on -one. During the session of one-on-one, -on -one, the servant of God asked me what I'm busy doing with, what I'm busy doing in this year. So I told him that um, I'm busy with my final year in Bachelor of Science measuring with chemistry and physics. So he gave me the word of an advice saying, after completing your junior degree, don't go, don't take any shortcut referring to PGCE, but you should further up your studies by doing honors degree. So during 2019, second semester, it happened that I didn't do well in some of the modules. But in 2020, I took the leap of faith to register for those modules that I didn't do well. And by the grace of God, I obtained my junior degree. In 2021, then I registered for honors as per instruction in righteousness that I was given by the servant of God. Yes, people of God, it happened that I did well in 2021, whereby I did complete my honors with record time, and I'm the first one in my family to graduate with second grade. For the, glory, for the glory of Master Jesus, that last statement, can you please repeat it again? I'm the first one in my family to graduate with second belt of honors. Now for Jesus Christ. Yes, my brother. Continue, continue with your testimony. After completing my honors, so this year in 2022, as it is a year of comeback and preparation to worship God in spirit and in truth. So in January, then I decided to look for job at different companies, even in February. So during February, while uh, I came to church on Saturday to do my duty as a worker in the house of God, while I was busy preparing the chairs for Sunday, okay. while I was busy preparing chairs for Sunday service, I made a prayer point in my heart saying, Lord Jesus, as I'm busy preparing your house, prepare my life also. Few minutes after the prayer point, then God located me to my destiny helper. Whereby one of the sisters came to me and asked me, Nkelele, are you obtained? Do you have a um, chemistry degree? Then I said yes. Then she told me that at the work that I'm at the department I'm working at, there are a lot of posts looking for people with your degree. So I went to her then. She helped me applying and applying, kept on applying and applying. Then in March, it was on the 14th, yeah, I received call of favor, inviting me for an interview in Johannesburg. Then I went for an interview on Friday. After the, the interview, within 10 minutes, I then received another call of favor inviting me for other interview. Then the interview was on the first, and I went there and I did well. In April, 
I was waiting patiently for feedback from those interviews. So on the 15th of April, when it was Easter weekend, the servant of God gave out a prophecy saying he sees five people who will receive employment. And by the grace of God, I was one among those people. The Bible in the book of Amos teaches us that God does nothing in the earth unless he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. Yes, the same God is still revealing secrets to his servants. On the 15th of April, 2022, during the Easter convention, the servant of God, Apostle Samuel Rabuteng, uttered a word of prophecy saying, he sees five individuals being called for a job. These were his words. Wave your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I see also five people who are going to receive call for a job after this. I see calls. I go to Misebiti Haiyo, our God can create jobs. The time when they're saying that uh, jobs are scarce, and that they would be able to get As he was busy picking the chairs in the house of God, he said, Lord, as I'm busy arranging the chairs in your house, arrange my life. What are you saying to the Lord? This is a lesson, people of God. Continue, sir. Okay. Then I waited patiently to see the fruits of the, of the prophecy from the servant of God. Last week of April, when I was busy preparing for my graduations, on Friday, I received good news from the second interview company saying to me when please indicate when will you be assuming your duties clap for jesus clap for jesus christ clap for jesus clap for master jesus So they are asking you. They are asking you. Yes, sir. What can you? On Friday, on the 29th, I got an email saying, indicate, please, when are you going to assume your duties? So what was your response? Then I did sign that form saying, on the 3rd, which was... Tuesday this month, I'll be assuming my duties. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let us now for Master Jesus. This is favor. Tell your neighbor, say, this is favor. This is favor. Yes, my brother, can you just tell us, how do you feel now? What can you teach us of what you have learned? Hi. I don't know what to say, but as children of God, we need to be faithful to God, especially as the servants in the house of God. Yes, things might be difficult, but let's remain faithful unto the Lord because he's the way, the truth, and the life. So, say, can you please tell us 
Where have you been? Where are you going to start your work? Which department or which private sector are you going to start your, your work? Um, I'm working at the Department of Employment and Labor as an OHS inspector. So now, yes, last week it was the for the sec, it was second week me being on duty. Wow! Clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's say this prayer together. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. as you have done it for him, yes. don't need do, do it for me. I need favor. Yes. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I need favor in Jesus' name. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Well, my brother, we want to thank God Almighty for what he has done. Your testimony has excited us. We are happy with you, but we want to advise you. Go and make friends that will add and multiply into your life, not those who will subtract and divide your life. Believing that and knowing that making God's word the standard for your life. This is just the beginning. The best is here to come in Jesus' name. Let us know for Jesus Christ.